Hello friends, uh, today I'm um, demonstrating to you uh, products, uh, selfie stick that I purchased from Amazon for 21 bucks and um, I'm going to do some demonstrations, the pro and cons which is the positive and negatives of this product and uh, show you what, how they use of it and is it good or not or probably uh, it's all depend on you eventually if you'd like it so let's get started so this is the product again i uh, unbox it and it's called the uh, blue horn i took it out of the box and this is how it looked like and it's very um, rugged the uh the top portion can be controlled with this lever here if you tie it and it's not going to be moving that much and the phone holder is very interesting has come separate and it goes like this and it's going like this and it's going to tie it up and here And this is the way they design it. And even the holder, it's not a, like one of these springy, it has a spring. Matter of fact, it has this lever, which I like, which, you know, uh, because it's going to hold the phone. And the strength, you're going to be adjusting that based on your phone, phone size, on the web, of course. And it comes with the remote control, it's nice, uh, nice pocket. For the remote control and the stand itself, uh, the bottoms are uh, like a rubber thing, so it's going to be will sit firm on the on the on the desk or anywhere you prefer, as you can see. And I will show you in a minute how it's going to be uh, connecting eventually and uh, again the, it's made of plastic it's very good very durable and it looks uh, solid can extend um, almost are exactly same here you yeah, bring it here the specs up to 40 inch as you can see it's a different length and all the way you can hold it here and do the uh, the video shooting or such but uh, I will explain you what's the again the negative and positive side of this uh, regarding the remote again it comes with the uh, manual show how you connect the remote controls to the Android device as usual and the uh, iOS iPhone and some instructions this is just a basic two page small pages of instructions here so um, let's get started how to connect this oh by the way it comes with a charger and let me show you how to also before we start i forgot to tell you how to remove this remote control so it has a little notch here you're gonna go with your finger a little bit and it's gonna pull up and the sleeve is made of plastics where the remote control sits very nice and um, by the way this remote control it's uh has a on and off battery and it has a charger it's like has a miniature uh, battery inside folks I friends my recommendation my suggestions to you do not open this the battery it goes almost for years because it has a little lithium batteries inside like the same with the phones one you don't need to charge it and you don't need to replace it it can be charged and uh, can be plugged in to any USB to um, 
can block, be plugged into uh, any um, any USB like this way. Not sure if this USB is active because I didn't connect it to the to the phone. As you can see, it can plugged in here, and this part goes, and you plug it in here. Again, the phone and uh, I'll demonstrate it some other place for you. Just stay put. How to connect this charger to uh, to this remote? So, folks, this is the computer I have, and I'm plugging this to the side of the computer. As you can see, here, and the other ends goes. On a remote, and it's gonna lit up, and it's gonna start charging, and it's gonna stay on until it's charged fully. The light's gonna go off by itself. This is the method of charging. Again, you can plug it to any computer or any uh, output that has a USB. Uh, outlet has a USB and then you can charge it that way. It's very simple for the charging method. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you how you're going to connect and this what's the pros and cons of uh, connecting the, connecting this device to uh, to an Android phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy here and uh, basically as you can see I'm opening this lever to fit my phone in there and it's gonna go all the way as you can see you can adjust it up and down and then you're gonna start tightening up and this is the way it's gonna sit and if you feel like this is very uh, loose always again you can tighten it with this area and it's very versatile and um, you can do a lot of things with it and this is the way it's gonna be working so I'll go ahead uh, demonstrate for you and I'm gonna Lose, lose this, and it's going to be removed, plugged in this way, tight, and it's going to be tied up, and it goes up and down, as you can see, this way, you can control it the way you like all the way which is very nice so now I'm gonna demonstrate to you how to connect this the remote control to this Android device so basically first of all you have to make sure this is on it just has an on and off button on the remote itself as you can see there is on and off here you can turn it on and the light is gonna come up this is an Android Samsung and we're going to go to uh, Bluetooth. Make sure you press and hold. So you're going to see this device name is Yangtang. This is the device name. And this is still flashing. You click on it once. It says here Bluetooth pairing request. Then say pair. And the lights, you're going to notice that went off. See, it says here, after that, it says connected. It says connected. So now, I'm going to say done. Now we're going to open the camera. Here's the, the things that I found with this, folks. That this remote will not zoom. These buttons here, it only will take a picture. 
same as this the plus and minus is supposed to be for zooming in and out as you guys probably familiar with other uh, selfie stick remotes but only you press one as you can see nothing then you press this the middle one you hear took the took a picture it took a picture and when you press the minus it's supposed to be zoom out take a picture too which is awkward I don't know I mean you know this is a brand new and it's functional remote and for videos pretty much if you switch to video pretty much it start recording on a plus when you plus when you press plus as you can see it's recording and you press it again stop the recording and you press minus start recording again so all the buttons pretty much they does the same thing which is awkward I don't know if this is the way they design it what I know is when you press well, I'm gonna stop the recording didn't stop I press it again stopped what I know about these things when you press this plus or minus this is gonna zoom you in and out and then you select this to start the recording not on this remote I don't know it doesn't work that's the negative side I see it on these things however this is the way it's uh, gonna be uh, um, demonstrated on the Android phone let me do it on the on the iOS iPhone just stay put please okay guys um, I have a, an iPhone here again we're gonna uh, snug it in here make sure it's tied up and everything and as you can see I this is off now this is off and I'm gonna put it on it's gonna start flashing I'm gonna um, get this Bluetooth on and demonstrate to you Bluetooth settings And I start looking for the device. Let's see if it's going to find it. Okay, folks, as you can see, it's still flashing. I found the device here. I click on it, and it's going to say uh, pair, and it's going to say connect it successfully the lights here on a remote went off so uh, again the camera part of it um, as you can see I demonstrated it to you earlier on the Android same on the iPhone here it takes picture when you press the plus sign only take picture which is it's not the way I think is designed um, you press again the minus here minus as you can see it took picture again and uh, nothing else even if you press the um, the uh, buttons for uh, the camera takes picture so all these buttons look like does the same thing so that's I don't know it's not right I believe so again the the selfie sticks itself the product itself the manufacturer of this it's very good it's very durable the packaging is nice and it has a lot of um, features as you can see 
and extends a lot, but the remote control part of it, um, France is not, I don't recommend it. Um, again, this is a good product, and I think it's overpriced for uh, this. So, um, that's all what I have for this product. This is the remote control, and again, do not open this. The batteries inside, it's uh, like a lithium, chargeable. You don't need to have uh, have it replaced. So um, that's all what I have. So um, friends, let me know uh, in your comments, any questions. Um, if you have any thoughts about this product. I believe this product is decent, but it's overpriced. Again, this is what I have on... Uh, that's what is listed on uh, on Amazon, but um, I really do recommend it, but not too much. And again, for the price, is too much. So uh, let me know, friends. Uh, and always, I appreciate your uh, uh, your likes and subscribes, please. And uh, Thank you for watching. Have a great day.